Hey guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And today I have a pair of Taka Hayashis off the vault line. This is the Chukagore LX colorway is suede dark camel. They're a size 12 and they retailed for 130. Coming in this season's Taka drawer box here, you got this dark navy shell with like this mint blue color on the face. And you got these small Taka graphics throughout. Feather logo here on the top with this nice trim and that same feather logo on the back here. One thing that I noticed about the box, which I thought was pretty cool, was that the graphic here on the front is actually something completely different. Usually when they do put the graphics on the front of the box here, it's at least somewhat similar, like those old school zips I did a review on a couple videos back. They actually had a picture of the Blends old school zip on it. While this one is just something completely different, this is a Chukka and it has a picture of a Style 36 or an old school so just something a little unique. I guess they just kind of put this together real quick. Comes with this season's dust bag as well. The natural color bag with black stripes, Taka logos, and of course the black drawstring on the front or on the top here. This is a May 2015 release. These guys dropped alongside another pair of Chukka Gores, which was featured in a Turkish coffee colorway. Both of the shoes in the pack were slightly different in that they featured different materials and they had a different look to them. The camel colorway here features the suede upper while the Turkish coffee colorway actually featured like a tumbled leather. I'm definitely a bigger fan of suede so this was an easy choice for me not to mention I did like the colorway slightly better. The other colorway was like a really dark brown color which is pretty cool too. Definitely love to grab a pair of those as well. The shoe itself is modeled after a Chukka, the regular style Vans Chukka boot. But this is a Taka variation of the shoe in which he kind of blends it with a Chelsea boot look to give it, um, of course, the elastic on the back here, but also to take away some of these eyelets. Usually you would see about four to five eyelets on a pair of Chukkas. So here we only have two eyelets. You got that Gore elastic band here on the side and this is also like a slimmed down version of the shoe it's pretty deconstructed which is really nice I'm not really a big fan of bulky shoes the chukka kind of pushes it for me it's a little bit bulky but every now and then I can pull it off this is definitely a better combination of the shoe or just a, a better variation of the shoe I should say something that really appeals to me Features a suede upper here. There are two different suedes on this shoe. On the toe box here, going up to the tongue, you have this micro suede, so it's a very short hair suede. Very nice though, definitely a premium suede. And this is in like this really light brown colorway. I think the pictures that I've seen of this shoe actually look a lot different than it does in person. In person, these do look a little more mellow. The color's not really that bright, so I'm actually, um, happy about that i do like a shoe that's a little more subtle but like i said you do have this micro suede on the toe box here while on the mid portion of the shoe here it is a slightly longer suede longer hair suede you can actually see it a lot better features that elastic gore here in uh two different colors you have the black stripes and then you have like this tan color or like a maybe like a really light gray And on the edge of the shoe here, this little trim, you got this sun, sundial look, which is really cool. It really reminds me of the Hirachi pack that dropped uh, earlier this year. Actually, that was last year, earlier last year. And has that same trim. The other colorway, the Turkish coffee one, actually has a completely different look on it. And the elastic itself is like a solid brown, I think. Moving on to the heel here, you have this really nice dark brown leather, or slightly darker brown leather. It's got the Taka logo there on the top and this nice pull tab. And then of course you have this little triangular cut all along the edge of this piece, which is really nice. Just something super subtle. That same trim also being on the tongue. The shoe sits on top of a very subtle off-white midsole, 
The piping is that same color as well. And of course the Taka tag on the heel here is also in that off-white. The sole here features the Widow's Peak style outsole. So you got the dark gum color here in the front and then like this light gray in the back. Not sure why they went with the light gray, but it does look really cool. Extra laces for these guys are these thin wax laces in this nice brown color. The same color that we see on the other laces, the hide laces here. The laces are actually pretty long. Um, I'm actually really happy about that because I do like to double knot my, my shoes sometimes. And every now and then you get a Taka shoe that has a really short lace. It's always a bummer. So I do like that it comes with some longer laces. A very sick shoe. I was very pleased with this shoe once I got these in person and tried them on. They look really good on feet. They are super comfortable with the elastic here. Very easy to get on. I think when they took away some of the eyelets here, it really allowed for a lot more room here, at least in this little piece coming up a little bit more. So very comfortable shoe. I really hope to grab another pair of these if I can. This particular colorway was very hard for me to find. I think this is the only 12 that I saw online. I know two shops that got them. One of them sold out instantly. The other one kind of sat there for a little bit, but they didn't really advertise that they had these. So I managed to go in there and pick up my 12 pretty easily. But yeah, I've only seen two shops in the US that have gotten these. So I'm not sure if a lot of shops are gonna be picking these up. They do look a lot different than any other van style. Um, and I know Chukka is not really a popular style for vans. So we'll see how these, um, come out or at least how many shops pick these up one problem that I did have with the shoe um, not the shoe itself but just my particular pair the foxing on the side here was actually coming up from the uh, outsole here so as you can see I had a shoe glue it kind of a bummer I did message the shop that I got these from and they did give me a partial refund so that was pretty cool of them but yeah the little the white piece here was actually coming off from the sole I think it'll hold pretty nice though with the shoe goo. Definitely recommend shoe goo if you guys haven't used it and you've got shoes that are falling apart. You can actually find it at Walgreens, which is nice. And also the little tab on the back here was coming undone, so I put some shoe goo on there and it seems to be holding up pretty nice. And before I forget guys, I totally forgot to review the interior of the shoe. The entire interior is lined with this pigskin leather, very soft leather, super high quality. From the heel all the way down to the very front of the toe box here, the entire inside lined with that leather, except of course the elastic here. All in that light brown color. Then you also have that Widow's Peak style insole that we've seen with uh, more of the most recent talk releases and it is sewn in there, also in that light brown color. Very sick shoe. As I mentioned, these guys retail for 130. They do fit true to size. It is a very comfortable shoe. Probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite Taka release so far this year. Definitely recommend picking these up or at least trying them on in person. Very sick shoe. Well, I hope you guys like the review and be sure to stay tuned for the on feed.